This is IO Live, and I'm Timothy Jordan. I'm standing here with Ricardo, who's working on a really cool machine learning project that he's going to tell us about. Hi, Ricardo. Hey, hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Could you give us an overview of the work that you're doing? Yes. So we are working on, and we managed to close the technology to give us visibility on how a small molecule is interacting not with just a piece of your genome, the usual design, but on the entire proteome and with the best approximation we can get. A nice assay, biological test, and this is giving us visibility that we never had before. So we are working to release a database where these small molecule interactions are gonna map to all our genome. And this, I think, will open up a complete new design principle of small molecules, new exciting algorithms, and better precision in therapeutics. Awesome. Now, uh, this is a really big problem with a really big solution. What about an everyday problem that you would love to solve with machine learning? I think will be probably choosing my food. So <laughs> today we well, today we get to a grocery store or to a restaurant, we pick our food mostly by, by use. So we are used to buy a specific kind of things and we repeat over and over again. But uh, if I have in my calendar or my agenda, when I go to the gym, if I have meetings, uh, I have my Fitbit or my sleeping uh, wearable device that tells me if I slept a lot and, or if I'm close to 40. I love someone to solve that. We should eat this, this and that and remember that you have an yeah, early meeting, uh, don't eat too much uh, or too late tonight uh, or eat, uh, drink some milk uh, or mm -hmm. get some vitamin D in winter. Boom, I will change my life. I would probably still sneak in some gummy bears, though. You can totally tweak the argument <laughs> and add a naughty dot in the noodle net uh, so you can pick up some sugar if you like it. Awesome, Ricardo. Thanks Super. so much for joining us and sharing your story. Thanks for everyone being here. Thank you. And thank you for watching IO Live. Now that we've heard a little bit more about uh, what ML is being applied to, let's go check out some of the technology behind all this machine learning research, shall we? Head on over to the ML Sandbox. Let's do that. <laughs>